Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically the areas of credit reports and credit history, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's first start with credit history. What is that? Well, let's pretend that you have a best friend and his name is Tim. And Tim loves Takis. Every single time that you go to any kind of store, you go to the school, you go to the lunch line, he wants to buy Takis. The problem is, is Tim doesn't have any money. So he asks you and he begs you, please let me just have $3 for some Takis. So you finally just decide to loan him $3. You say, I need it back. He says he'll have it back to you by Friday. So he gets his Takis, all is right in the world, until you want to try to get your money back. Tim does not have the three dollars on friday and so you ask him about it he says oh i have it you by monday i just got to get the money for my parents so then you ask him on monday and he does not have the money on monday or tuesday or wednesday it is three weeks and all you are able to get from him is a dollar and 89 cents and you had to bug him and bug him and bug him for it he just doesn't have the money and then Two weeks later, Tim again says, hey, I really want to get this brand new game for my PS4. I just don't have any money. Can I borrow $60 for you? He wants a brand new game. He says, I'll get you the money back. Can I borrow $60? Now, would you give Tim $60? I wouldn't give Tim 60 cents because what Tim has right up here is bad credit history. He has proven to you that he is not financially responsible. He cannot repay the amount of money that he has borrowed. That's what credit history is. So when grown-ups talk about their credit history, and as you start to get older and you start to have your own checking account, credit cards, your credit history is very important. Everyone looks at it. Lenders, people that are going to uh, lend you money, people that are going to insure you, your car, people that are insure your home, your apartment, um, people that are even going to loan you money, like student loans, you'll get a student loan, but the interest rate and the amount that you can get might depend on your credit history. And even landlords, if you are wanting to move out when you're 18, you're wanting to get an apartment, they'll check your credit history. And if you have a bad credit history, they might not give you the apartment because they don't believe that you are going to be able to pay your monthly bills, even utilities whether it be the internet, whether it be your electric or your water, everyone's looking at your credit history to see whether you have a history of repaying everything that you borrow so that they can trust you with their money. So if everyone is looking at your credit history, what can they find? Well, your credit history is held on what is called a credit report. And your credit report holds all of your borrowing and your spending and your payments for the last seven to ten years so it lasts for a long time a poor decision today can hurt you five years from now seven years from now even ten years from now so you're going to get a credit score and it's going to be probably in one of these ranges so if you have a credit score of over 740 you have excellent credit you can get whatever you want to people will borrow let you borrow money and your rates will be good this is considered a good score if you fall between 670 and 739. If you're between 580 and 669, that's fair. You'll probably be able to pay your, your uh, borrowing amount back, but you might not get good interest rate. And anything below a 579 is just considered poor. You might not get the loan or your interest rates are going to be horrible. So what do you have on your credit report? Well, your payment history and your account status of anything that you have that requires you to borrow money or pay money back. So it could be real estate, your parents, if they're buying their home, that's going to be on there, your credit cards, your loans, uh, paying for your car, anything that's going to be uh, serious, like a bankruptcy, that's going to be on there for seven to 10 years. Um, and also, Negative information, like if you default on a loan, that means you just stop payments. Or if you have late payments or tardy payments, that is all going to show up on your credit report.